Hello, I'm John Clothier and welcome to my workshop. In today's episode of my entry into the Great Guitar Build-Off 2020, unofficial of course, I'm going to be tackling some of the bodywork. So as I said, we're going to be doing some bodywork today and as I mentioned back in episode one, I had already put together this from a single piece of Sapili with a slightly flamed maple top that's been book matched. Um, there is also some markings on it, which you can probably see. And these were some sort of rough markings that I put on before. Outline for the two pickups. This line here is where I'm going to have my neck come up to. So that's just as a guideline for that. And I've marked on the four dots for where the controls are going to be. Now, I've done that by making two parallel lines, making sure that they're parallel to the center line and just using the equal distance to make sure that they're spread out. I also marked on my template for the cavity, and not of course that's gonna be drilled from the top, but it's just to make sure that everything was gonna fit. That will of course be done from the other side. But what I will do is I'll drill the four holes for the controls, and then when I flip it over onto the back, I'll be able to line up my template so that I make sure that they're in just the right place. Not 100% certain on the switch location yet. Traditionally, it's up here, and I probably will do that, um, but not decided at the moment. But today, I want to mark out where the uh, neck recess needs to be made and make that, and get these drilled. Um, the thickness of this body means that I might be quite shallow at this end, so I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna tackle that yet. I was thinking of doing a bolt on neck for a change. My last two guitars, or my first two guitars even, were both set necks. And I might end up having to do a set neck with this one if, this, if the wood gets a bit thin. But we'll cross that bridge when I get to it. To start with, mark it out and go down sort of halfway just so I can start to see how it's looking. As I said, I wanna get those drilled out and hopefully the cavity routed out as well. Let's get on with it, I suppose. Right, so I've roughly positioned the neck where it needs to be. I've got my center line here, which is lined up on the center line for the guitar. And I've got these two scrap pieces of MDF, which have got perfectly flat uh, edges. They may not be parallel, but they are certainly flat. And what I can now do with them is put one up against each side of the guitar neck and making sure that it stays in the middle is check to see whether these remain parallel and parallel to the center line as they come out these inner lines. Now I've already done that and marked in pencil where they are, which makes it a little bit easier for me. So what I'm going to do now is use the super glue masking tape trick to stick these down to the body. So I'll run a piece of tape across here and another one the other side. Right, and before we get any glue out, let's just double check everything. So just to make myself a little bit easier for myself, just clamp those two pieces of wood to the neck so that all stays as one solid block. Position it all again, just make sure it's right. Right, just draw on the pencil line so that I know where they need to go back to. A little bit of super glue. And try and get it back on in exactly the same place as it was. Now with any luck, now I've removed the clamp, those two bits of MDF should be stuck solid So now I can just think about my angle this way. Obviously as I come further in, because I've got a taper, it becomes loose. So as it comes out further, it gets a little tighter. And now I can use a third piece of wood. Let's put some more masking tape down. Again, a little drop of glue. And now making sure this is in exactly the right place again, but it right up against it. Press down. 
Now in theory, I can remove the neck and this should give me the exact shape that I need to route out for this. So, what I'll do now is I'll take it over to the drill press and I will just drill down uh, probably half an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch, and then we'll get the router out. Okay, well it's in there. Um, it's still really tall, really high. Um, so I've got to go wrap down a bit further yet. Um, but it's in there and it fits. And yeah, it's, it's a pretty good fit. So I could probably glue that in. Um, I think really though, <laughs> it was quite a faff trying to do the corners. I think probably as I move on to my next guitar, I really should take into account the radius of the router cutter that I used with this and factor that in on the heel of the neck. Um, rather than trying to square it off. It's probably going to be easier in the long run, I am sure. Um, but anyway, that will do for the moment. Um, when it comes to sort of setting it up a little bit later on and making sure everything's in the right place, that's when I'll come back and route that out a little bit further. I just wanted to get it in there for the moment, just so that I can kind of make a start on seeing where things need to go. So I'm going to tackle the control cavity now. Okay, so that's the four holes drilled out for the controls. Um, I have actually off camera, just taking this down a little bit further, and it is now about where I want it. It could probably do with being a little bit lower, but there's really not a lot of wood left on here. Um, I have, let me grab the neck, taken a little bit off of here uh, with a plane. Um, I didn't want to go too mad with it because I was worried I was going to get it out of square. Um, so I've taken a bit off and I'm getting a much better um, angle now and I think it should be okay with the bridge. But I'd say this is probably the part of the guitar building process that I found the most challenging. Um, and this obviously, this is the third guitar that I've built now and I still don't really get it. I'm, I'm, I don't know where I'm going wrong. But anyway, never mind. There's still something to improve on. And hey, you're always learning and that's part of the fun. Right, so as I said, I've done the four holes. So now what I want to do is I'm going to flip it over and mark out where I want to route the cavities. As I said, I need to work out where I'm going to put the cavity for the uh, controls now. I've got these two templates. Uh, this is the top, and I think it is to go around that way actually, which is what you normally see. And I've got this template, which is for the cover. Um, but inside, it's a different shape. And when you look at it like that you can see that there's space for the cavity cover to sit on those four lugs and screw in. So I need to make sure I keep these templates around the right way. I have marked on them to make sure that this side goes towards the body. And all I really need to do is just kind of position this in such a way that these four holes are in the middle, which that looks about there. And I want to try and line it up sort of along the center line, which I think is gonna be about there. In fact, let me just mark a center line on here first. Right, so with my center line on there now, um, I can get this lined up and I'm just gonna draw around this one for the moment because I need to do the other cavity first. Well, I don't need to route it first, but I certainly need to mark sure, make sure that it's on there okay and it's where it needs to be, and it's not going to be too close to the edge. So again, back onto the center line, make sure we're central. It's not the most important thing in the world, but it's nice to try and get it right. Draw around again, just to double check, because these two corners here are where, if it's gonna to get too close to the edge, this is where it's gonna be, and obviously I wanna make sure 
that I don't get caught out. So now I'm going to attach the templates and get these two things routed out. So I've decided that I am going to put the switch up here in the traditional position. So I've roughly marked it out so that it looks like at the sort of center point of this curve. And I just again tested it with my template, put my marking on and used my all to create a point for the center point drill. And I've measured this to be 12 millimeters. So I'm going to take this over to the pillar drill, do have a 12 millimeter hole. And then the same as the process for the other controls, flip it over and do the routing. Okay, so that's the switch done. Now I'm gonna look at the pickups and I've got this clear acrylic template. And I really like these acrylic templates because they've got a center line marked in them, which I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I'll try and show it to you on the camera just in here. Anyway, it means it's very easy to line that up with your center line on your guitar because you can see through it. So I know that this first pickup obviously is gonna be right up by the neck. So that's gonna be fairly straightforward. I wanna move it slightly closer because the, the neck um, is slightly shorter than I think it probably should have been. Um, but I'm gonna have to mark out the bridge position before I do the bridge pickup. But I might as well get this one done now anyway. Okay, so that's the neck up pickup cavity routed. I've just put the neck back in for a second because I want to look at where the um, the bridge is going to be. And I've gone for 25 inch, which is 635 millimeter scale length. So I've got a ruler here, which is 600. And it happens that the first fret is just around about 35 millimeters. So it means that I can position the steel rule at that point and that gives me my 600 i know is 635 mil i've then got this little square which i'm going to put up against that point get it slightly underneath the rule there we go and i will then know that at that point there when i draw on the body that that is at 635 millimeters from the nut at least that's the theory so this is the bridge that I'm going to be using and I know that the gap between the two holes is 74 millimeters. So I'm just looking at that on the um, line and just thinking to myself, right, okay, so if it's 74, I need to divide that by two, which is 36 millimeters. So I can now take my protractor, which has also got my center marks on it, which is really handy. Position that onto the line and mark out 36. And that should give me my two drill holes for the two supports. But as always, a little sanity check just to make sure that they're right. Right, so now I need to work out the size for the drill and go and take it over to the pillar drill and drill them. Okay, so that's the holes done. And while I was over there, I also did the same for the tailpiece and it was exactly the same process. Um, the only thing that I did was I tried to line it up with this um, control um, just to try and make it look a little bit neater really. I um, don't know if that's that important. So now that I've got my location for my bridge, um, I've just lightly marked on with pencil where the bridge will come up to, which means that I now know where I can put the last um, pickup recess so let me get that routed out okay so that's the two pickup cavities routed out um that's pretty much all the routing done now um i think the only thing i need to use the router for is making the covers for the back 
um, but I still need to drill the hole for the um, for the input jack or output jack even. So let's get that done, and then I think we'll call it a day. Right. So I've marked out where I want it to be. Um, I'm just keeping it equally distance across the sapili and making sure that when it goes in, it's not going to get in the way of one of the pots. And now I've got a 13 mil drill. I've used my all to put a starting point, and this is a Brad point drill. So hopefully. I'll get in the right location, and all I need to do is just concentrate on keeping it straight and drill down. Okay, so that's the hole drilled, and I've got my plate here, and I've got a step drill, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill down with a step drill, making sure that the hole doesn't get any bigger than what the face plate is gonna cover, and that's probably gonna be about the 24 mil mark. Okay, so I've got the socket in and I'm just doing a little test fit to make sure that it's okay. What I'm now going to do to try and get it central is to push it right into this corner and draw around it. I'm then going to do the same into the opposite corner and draw around it. And now when I position it between those two markings, it should, in theory anyway, be um, in the middle. Again, use the all to mark a dot in the centre of each of those circles. As always, then just sanity check it. And I can see that while my top two are fine, the bottom two aren't quite right. So I just need to readjust those. There we go. And what I'll now do is I'll just use a small drill just to do a pilot hole ready for screws. Okay, that's it for today's episode. So we've made some good progress. Um, lots of routing, lots of drilling. Um, I do still need to create some access channels between the pickups, between the switch cavities, and of course a wire for the bridge for earthing. But I'll do all that in the next episode. Uh, in the next episode as well, I'll also do the two covers for the back and look at attaching the neck with screws. Anyway, until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.